Hello, I am just on a morning walk and I am reflecting on lots of different things. I'm at the beach with my family, vacationing at a place where I came with my parents. I brought them here. Um, so I've got lots of memories of them. And as you may or may not know, I have lost both of my parents. I am 39 years old. I am a mother of three, and I lost both of my parents already. I lost my father five years ago. My father was, I'll give you a little better view. My father was my best friend. Um, lost him to depression, surprisingly. Um, he was suffering with depression for a long time, and it won. And it not only killed him, but it definitely, I don't want to say it killed our family, but it destroyed our family. Um, it destroyed me. It destroyed my mom. And it was really hard for us to recoup from that. And we never really did. And then just recently, six months ago, I lost my mom. My dad was my rock, and then my mom had to be my rock. She had to fill in. She had to fill his shoes, which I know wasn't fair, but she had to because we had to fill each other for each other. And so life went on, and um, long story short, my... My mom passed away six months ago from breast cancer, undiagnosed as well. Well, my father's depression was diagnosed, but it was surprising. So, um, there's people on the beach looking at me like I'm crazy, but I don't really care. Who cares, right? So anyway, I uh, lost my mom to breast cancer, undiagnosed. And I have lots of feelings of anger, sadness, upset. I feel robbed. I feel completely deprived. I wasn't over my father's loss yet. I have three children who adored their grandparents. And now they don't have them. And my parents were amazing. People, amazing. Grandparents, they were amazing. I just spotted a gorgeous shell and I have to pick it up. Um, so I just don't think it's fair. I'm gonna turn around and head back towards my, my condo. Anyway, um, and then you get to see the beautiful sunrise. So my point in all of this is I'm sitting here on my walk thinking, I have been through hell. I was weak before all of this. I was not a strong person. I just kind of, I just went through the motions and just thought I was living my best life. And just, you know, I was, I had, I was a teacher. I got, I, I, got, I went to college, I got married. I was a teacher, I had kids. I stayed home with my kids. And then I feel like I really, really, really learned to enjoy life when all of this shit started to happen excuse me but it's unfortunate that that had to happen for me to realize how wonderful precious amazing life is um here comes some people jogging i don't really care like i said before it doesn't matter nothing matters everything matters so anyway i um I just want to just teach as many people as I can that just check this out <laughs> I kind of just want to teach as many people as I can to just appreciate the little things that you have every single day because you never know when when they might disappear right 
as quick as this beautiful sunrise disappears. You just, uh, you just never know. So you might as well make the best of every single second that you have. That's where I'm going with this. So if there's something that you've always wanted to do, if there's something that you didn't think you could do, if there's something that you thought or that you think you're not good enough to do, it's crazy, there's nothing. But I used to think all those things too, so I get it, I totally get it. Um, long story short, I am, like I said, a mom of three. I was miserable, I lost 25 pounds. I gained my life back, even though I've got major people missing in it. My life is like, it's, it's so positive right now and it's on fire because I have gained control of, my, of myself, of the controllable, of the things that make me feel good about myself right now. Because the only thing we're guaranteed is right this second, right now, right now, right now. We're not guaranteed five, five seconds from now. We're really not. So right this second. So you have to do something now so that you feel the best that you can possibly feel about anything. Emotional, physical, nutrition, fitness. Your relationship with your spouse, your significant other. Say it all, don't keep anything inside. And just do it. Just. Just start that thing that you've been wanting to start. There's no better time than right now to do it. Tomorrow is, an, is, is too far away. Do it now. Or make a plan. Make a plan with a start date and start. And the most important thing is get support. Nobody wants to do anything alone. No one. I know for a fact that my father felt alone with his illness. And my mother probably did too, and that's probably why her, her illness was undiagnosed. She just, I don't know, she felt alone. Shy, embarrassed, nervous, anxious, whatever it is, I don't know. Another gorgeous shell that I have to pick up. Um. No regrets, right? So I had to pick that shell up. <laughs> I didn't want to think about it later. Oh, I should have picked that shell up. I think it, I'm gonna wake up my girls tomorrow and go on this beautiful walk with me because this is just too beautiful. All these shells and this gorgeous sunrise. I mean, really, I'm gonna take a picture. Um, so yeah, no regrets. I mean, life is too short. It's too precious. It doesn't matter what you're going through. There's time for you. There's time for you to feel the best that you can feel, to do the best that you can do, to be the best that you can be. So just do it. And like I was saying, get support. Don't do it alone. I think that's why I struggled for so many years because I was trying to do it alone. And there's so many people out there that have been through what you've been through, whether it's grievance, whether it's you know divorce, uh, separation, um, you know, loss of a job, loss of a house, you know, you, you're, whatever it is, there's somebody that's been through it. So reach out and there's someone that can help you with your fitness and health. And I am one of those people and I am a, a wellness coach now and I help hundreds of people every single day doing something that I had trouble with and now I know how to overcome it. So it's just, it's just been fantastic. So reach out. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how it's just every single day I think about what I could have done, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Now is now. I have, the, I have controllable over right this second. So I know that if I am given the future, it's going to be the best because I have control. And if you want control too, reach out. You can do something. Start now.